Hello and welcome to the Man Games. This is another episode of Fun with Figures. And um, today we're going to be looking at 10 of the uh, Mattel figures. So let's get started straight away with a Drew McIntyre figure. Um, so this, um, I believe, was the first in line Drew McIntyre figure, I believe. Around about the time when he was Vince McMahon's chosen one. Um, his entrance music of the Broken Dreams was a highlight of Smackdown at that time, in my opinion. Um, yeah, good figure. Not a lot of um, not a lot to talk about it though. Um, obviously, he's got the Scottish symbols on um, flag on his attire. Obviously, this is um, way before he was world champion or in Free MB, which. I remember him being in free and be thinking, what is he doing? And then when he got um, released from WWE, I was real surprised, like thinking, what? Why would you release Drew McIntyre? He's just one. He's too. He was too good to be in free and B, and two, he was you know too good to let go. But obviously, he went, came back, and now he's on to bigger and better things. So let's hope you know things stay on track for Drew McIntyre. Next up, we have Cesaro. Now, this figure has been well played with. There is um, lots of marks on this figure. Um, it's same again. I think it was the first in line as well. Obviously, with it being a Mattel figure, um, I'm pretty sure around this time when he came in, also he um, was straight into the United States title picture. So yeah, it would have been nice if this came with that title, but I don't believe it did. Um, so that is Cesaro second on the board today. Now next up, this is um, my wife's favourite wrestler, Finn Balor. Can't understand why he would be a woman's favourite wrestler. I'm sure it's got nothing to do with them abs at all. Um, yeah, same again, third up today. Um, I think this was the first in line Finn Balor figure also. Um, that is just a coincidence. It's not that I had not had that planned for the video. It's just the way it's happened today. Um, yeah, so this is when he was in NXT. Um, when he debuted helping Hideo Itami, also known as Kenta, against um, the Ascension, I believe. Um, no, good figure in good condition. It's um, been well looked after. Um, not a lot of marks on the back there, so so yeah, Finn Balor. Next up today we have Cody Rhodes. Now he is obviously in AEW. Um, a great show. If people you know watch this, they watch WWE, but don't watch AEW. Go out there and check out AEW. It is really, really good. Um, so yeah, back to the figure. A few marks on the um, chest there. Um, a few marks on the leg, but it is a um, really good figure. Obviously, this is... I'm not sure if it is in his dashing roads phase or if it was slightly after. I don't remember him wearing knee pads in the um, the dashing Cody Rhodes phase, so maybe this is slightly after when he was teaming with his brother Goldust, maybe. Obviously, after that, he became Stardust. Um... Yeah, maybe the less to say about status, the better, maybe. Um, I didn't mind it too much, but I know Cody, um, well, from what's been reported, Cody didn't like it. So, yeah, if Cody didn't like it, then we don't like it here neither. Still kind of like it a little bit, though. Um, so, next up, we have a CM Punk figure. Um, it is a good figure. It's it's still in pretty decent condition. Um, my only nitpick is um, the tattoos could be slightly better. They're not um, coloured in. Um, this is obviously the cheaper version of a CM Punk figure. Um, as um, we've looked at one previously, which I have to hand it actually. When you put them together, that is a difference. Now I know I gave the Triple H figure a bit of... Um, stick as it had the same head on and this is pretty much the same 
Um, it's the same head on a different body. Obviously, um, they are, these are both Mattel figures, but obviously this one is the more expensive one. Um, obviously, it moves a lot better, and you can see the tattoos better off in this picture. Um, also, he's got the tattoo there on the neck, which isn't there, and also on the back, you know, there is tattoos on the back, which his figure doesn't have, which probably should. Um, um, it's not so. It's not a bad figure. Um, I think you know they could have just put more, you know, time and effort into it really and made it even better. But this is obviously more the in the UK. These ones are more like ten ninety nine, whereas the um, the other ones are more um, like sixteen ninety nine. Or they were at the time then, at least. Not really sure of the prices of them now. So yeah, that was CM Punk. Obviously, just one last thing going back to the tattoos. Obviously, there is no Pepsi tattoo. I believe there is, should be another one there. But yeah, so that was CM Punk. Next up today, we have a Big E Langston figure. So this is before he became just Big E in the New Day. Um, this is around the time he was with Dolph Ziggler and AJ Lee. After that, they um, split. I believe he um, became Intercontinental Champion for a short while. I believe he beat Curtis Axel for the title, but... Not 100% sure, but I'm fairly confident it was um, Curtis Axel. Um, good figure, um, in good condition. Not really been played with that much, I don't think. Um, you see on the back there, there's not a lot of marks neither. So yeah, that's Biggie Langston. Next up today, we have John Cena. Um, now, if you people can see him, can you not see him? That's right, you can't see John Cena, can you? Well, this figure is... No, I'm only joking. There he is. Um, so, this has um, the purple armbands. Um... In the um, the jeans, the blue jeans. I know he's worn plenty. Well, it's the same clothes, just different colours, really. Um, but th this is a good figure. It's in good condition. Um, yeah, not a lot of marks on it. Um, obviously, I suppose every kid has a John Cena figure these days. When I was a kid, everyone seemed to have um, the Hasbro um, Jet the Snake figure. Um, everyone seemed to have the figure, but not the snake. And um, then obviously later, every kid seemed to have the um, the Vince McMahon type of Tron figure, which we spoke about before on the show. Um, but yeah, going back to the John Cena figure, good figure. Um, the arms are a bit stiff, but other than that, you know, good. You can do the um, the You Can't See Me. So yeah, that is that's John Cena. Now next up today we have a. Uh, MVP figure. Now I prefer th this one over the one we've looked at previously. Um, you know he's got the tattoos there, which you can see down the arms as well. Obviously, on the previous figure we looked at on the channel, which I do have to hand right now. Um, we'll just put that them side by side for a quick second. Um, so this is, in my opinion, um, one of the few times that the Mattel figures are actually better than the Jacks. Um, just like there's more detail in the face. Um, yeah, it's, the Mattel figure in this case is just all around better, I think. Um, so yeah, less said about that one, the better. We'll get rid of that. Um, yeah, so going back to the figure, a few marks on it, but you know, really, it's still still in good nick. Um, and we'll just leave him there for one second if he will stay stood up. Yeah, we've got it there. So next up. We have um, his partner at the time, because this was a double pack, it is Mark Henry. Um, this figure has been more played with than the MVP figure, there is more marks on his um, tyre. Um, good figure though, um, the only thing with obviously there's a bit of size difference, so this figure is harder to play with, slight, just slightly. Um, if you um, see there, you can, you can, I mean you can still do his drop on the figure, but... Um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't do that on this top as I don't think my wife would be very happy if I marked it So maybe we shouldn't do that again um, Please write in the comments and let me know if you think I'm whipped by that comment But 
yeah, we will move on to the last figure of the day. It is Seth Rollins. So this came with um, Dean Ambrose, um, also the Money in the Bank briefcase came with it. Um, yeah, really like this figure. It is good. It's it's been kept in good condition. Um, I have said previously on the show that these aren't my figures; they're my nephews. Um, so this is one that's you know he's looked after well. Um, you can see the tattoo on the back there. So yeah, that's that's um, that's Seth Rollins' last one on the show today. Um, obviously, this is just after he left the Shield. He turned on his Shield brothers and turned to side with the Authority, Triple H, and Stephanie McMahon. I'll just put him back there, center for a second. So yeah, that was Seth Rollins. So thanks for watching the video. Um, please leave us a comment and let us know and what you thought of the video, ways to improve. Also go and check out the WWE 2K20 videos. There's some good ones out there. Make sure to check out the AEW Universe mode. It's one of the ones I enjoy doing the most. There is also Otis and Mandy videos that are very popular on the channel. And also the special video of the WrestleCreate unboxing, which was a special because we got to 200 subscribers. So that was the treat for everyone that likes the channel. So that is everything from the Man Games today, thank you.